Hi everyone, Kara Santa Maria here. Snakes, spiders, bees, jellyfish, scorpions, wasps, ants, centipedes, pufferfish? What do all of these animals have in common? Venom. In fact, more than 100,000 different creatures produce venom, with effects ranging from an annoying sting to full-on death. Take snake bites. They kill over 100,000 people across the globe every year. So I sat down with Dr. Sean Bush, an emergency physician and professor at the Loma Linda School of Medicine, to learn more about his work with venom. Different venoms will do different things. It's very complex. So some venoms will make your blood too thin, and so if you drop some venom in some blood, the blood would just be like wine. You pour it out like wine. Some of it makes your blood clot too much. Some venom makes you, uh, dampens your neurological responses so you don't breathe as, as well. And some of it causes your nerves to be too excitable, so you have these muscle twitching all over the place. And, and then, of course, there's the swelling. Some venoms make you swell up a lot. Some venoms don't, but they can be really toxic. Venom's different from poison because it's injected into a victim by stingers, fangs, all sorts of scary sounding things. It's made up of a bunch of different compounds called toxins. Less than a thousand of these toxins are known to medical science, but there are an estimated 20 million plus yet to discover. And the toxins found in venom can actually be used for good. There are already drugs on the market made from snake venom proteins that can treat a number of health scares. How many more are there yet to discover? But I remember one time where I had a snake bite patient in one bed where I was treating him with anti-venom, trying to combat the venomous effects. And then in the next bed over, we had a patient with a stroke that we were using venom to break up that clot that was being caused by the stroke. So one patient we were treating for a snake bite and the other patient we were treating with a snake bite. And, and that's the kind of thing about venom. So certainly it has the power to destroy, but in the right hands it also has the power to heal. Venom is really pharmacologically active, and it can obviously be used for good. But it also helps in the development of anti-venom, an extremely important class of drugs used to combat the effects of a snake bite. Present-day anti-venoms are basically immunological. They are uh, molecules that bind with venom to inactivate it and clear it from the body. Injecting a patient with antivenom can be effective in preventing further damage to the body's tissues, but it can't undo the damage already done. Because one of the purposes of venom in nature is to digest a snake's prey, if it bites you, it'll start to digest your tissues too. Antivenom's not some magical drug that will undigest you, it doesn't work that way. But it can prevent you from getting sicker, and in most cases, it'll save your life. The most exciting aspect of my research is trying to figure out how to adjust to this venom molecule and, and treat people that get like the ultimate encounter with venom. You know, they get, they get venom injected into them and I'm trying to figure out how to save them, you know? And I have a really vested interest. Not only did Dr. Bush grow up with a fascination of venomous snakes, even keeping them as pets, he's also been studying snake bites for 20 years. And he had a personal scare. His son was bitten by a snake when he was only two years old. So my son was in the backyard, and I was actually at work, and my wife sees, well, sees him out in the backyard, and he, he picks up a little rattlesnake by like a sprinkler fountain, thinking, you know, this is a snake, I'm gonna get it for, for daddy, put it in a cage, you know, and, and he gets bit. And uh, so my wife calls 911, you know, he comes in by helicopter, I met him on the helipad, and we treat him with a bunch of, bunch of anti -dim. His life was saved, thankfully. But I asked Dr. Bush if his son suffered any lasting effects from the bite. There was really no lasting physical effects, but he's not so crazy about snakes now. <laughs> I don't blame him. Do you have any stories about venom as a curse or a cure? Come on, talk nerdy to me.